Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another Pokemon news update. So in this news update, we are going to be covering the rest of the full set for Thunderclap Spark. So within this video, we're going to be checking out all the other cards, aside from the GXs and the, uh, the Prism Stars. We've checked out the Full Arts Rainbow Rares as well for those GXs as well. Um, we need to check out the Secret Rares and the Full Art Trainers as well, so they will be definitely coming up as well. But we're going to dive in and have a look at this very, very interesting set indeed. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we are here with all of the cards for Thunderclap Sparks. We're going to be going through all of the cards here, checking out all of them, and then afterwards we'll check out the three secret rares as well before we finish. So, without further ado, let's get cracking and let's get on with it. So, the first one we have is Pinsa, right here. Very, very nice artwork, walking through the forest. Very, very cool indeed. Um, so his moves are, uh, for one grass, grip and squeeze, 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn. And then for three colorless, hammer in for 70 damage. Probably not a Pokemon you're going to be wanting to play. But a pretty cool artwork, nevertheless, I like it. It is pretty cool. Uh, then we have Shuckle right here. Very, very cool. Nice little, uh, he's sort of like holding on to the cliff before he falls down a hole maybe, I don't know. Uh, the ability Juice Extractor. Once during your turn, when you play this card from your hand onto your bench, you may search your deck for up to three basic energy cards and discard them, then shuffle your deck. So this can be pretty cool for decks which rely on energy being in the discard pile and bringing it back. The fact that it's a grass poker as well could be interesting as well. Could be interesting. Um, and also, it's attack itself for one grass, energy drink. Attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. So you use this to sort of bulk up the other Pokemon, but you've still got one energy in the discard pile. So you use that ability Juice Extractor maybe twice. That's six energies in the discard pile. This thing can place them on two per turn. That's pretty cool. A very, very nice setup. Of course, it does have to be in the active to do that attack, so there is that. And it only has a HP of 60, so uh, it's a little bit worrying. <clears throat> um, we do have a worm pool right here, a very interesting worm pool. Love this, like in the autumn, leaves that they're jumping around. Very, very cool indeed. Um, and for one colour, it does ram for uh, 10 damage, sorry. So that's pretty cool. Then we have this guy right here, which is Cascoon, which means we're obviously going to be getting Duskox, which you can see there. <coughs> um, so the first move for one colorless is Gava, uh, Gava Cocoon. Search your deck for up to four in any combination of Silcoon and Cascoon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. So there is no Silcoon in this, in this set. There is one in Fairy Rise. So, and the thing is, we're going to be getting Thunderclap and Fairy Rise in the same set. So, uh, and also the, uh, the, egg, the next one as well, Explosive Impact. So there is definitely that to think of. So this thing could be interesting if the Dust, dust Ox and the uh, Beauty Fly are any good. Of course, it does also have an attack for one grass, one colorless for ram for 30 damage but the fact that it can actually set the bench up with not just the worm pull but the actual like stage two no stage one uh, evolution is pretty cool definitely very nice moving on we have dust Ox right here a very interesting one love that background looks as if he's coming out of like an icy area or water or a fountain or something very cool though uh, the ability hazard of evolution when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed and poisoned. Between turns, put three damage counters for poison instead of one. So this is pretty cool. Um, the paralyzation is always very, very cool indeed, because obviously if they can't get out of that, the happy days they can stay in there and still get, get poisoned. The fact that it does three instead of one is very nice as well. Um, Plus the fact that this is an ability. So you can ability, poison it and paralyze. Yeah, poison and paralyze it. So that's 30 damage already. Then your second attack here for grass and colorless is gust for 70 damage. Which means that you can place that down. Then attack. You're doing 100 damage for just two energies. Essentially. 
obviously once they come and they don't get unparalyzed until the end of their turn unless they get out of it which can be slightly hard but it, it does does happen sometimes so there is that so that's pretty cool pretty cool nevertheless we've got Verizian GX there which we have had a look at so we won't bother with that one we've got another Skiddo very very nice artwork there love that very basic in the background but very very effective uh, one one colorless for collect, draw one card, and then for grass and colorless, a vine whip for twenty damage. It's okay. It's not. It's not. It's not amazing. Uh, we also have a go goat here. I love this. You've got go goat here, and then you've got a little skid over there. And the artwork is so cool. It looks absolutely amazing. It's it's like it was drawn with a pencil. Very very cool indeed. So the attacks we've got. Double colorless for Leaf Wallop. 40 damage during your next turn. This Leaf Wallop's attacks do 50 more damage. So it does 40, and the next turn it does 90. But that's only for Leaf Wallop. Then for a double grass and colorless, we've got Solar Beam for 100 damage. Obviously, like I said, that isn't affected by this uh, Leaf Wallop. But the fact that you can do 40 one turn and then 90 the next, 40, 90, 40, 90. It's the same thing. So that's pretty cool indeed. Then we also have Tapu Bulu right here. We're getting a Tapu Bulu. It's got a. It's a. It's hopefully going to be a Hollow. Who knows? It might actually be in the theme deck. You never know. This is the thing. I don't know if there's any theme decks yet being announced. But you know, Tapu Bulu could be interesting. So for one Grass and a Colors, we got Hustle Punch. Twenty times damage. Does twenty damage times the number of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So say they've got five. Does a hundred damage. It's all right. Does does the job. And then for Double Grass and a Colorless, we got Wild Tackle for 120 damage. Flip a coin if Tails' this Pokemon does 30 to itself. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, but I don't know. I kind of like Hustle Punch because that could be a pretty interesting one. Just a small little Tapu Bulu in your deck. Happy Days does a little 100 damage. That's pretty nice. We are also getting an amazing looking Moltres card. I absolutely love this thing. It looks amazing. Really, really nice indeed. So for one fire, we got Assist Heater. 30 damage, and you may attach one fire energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. It helps set up your bench. You're doing a little bit of damage there. Pro possibly could get KO'd the next turn. There is that. Um, and what else we got? We got a double fire and colors for Fire Wing, 90 damage. I don't know. I kind of like that first one. It just sort of helps with the bench Pokemon. And if it can stay there for some time, it could be pretty interesting. So we are getting another Slugma. That is, of course, essential, seeing as we are getting the Macargo GX. You can see that down there. So um, it's pretty interesting artwork. I love it. It's sort of like right by a volcano. It's just sat there. There's lava going by. He's just having a brilliant time. Um, so double colors for Stampede for 20 damage, and then a fire, fire colors for Flamethrower, 60 damage, and you discard one energy attached to that uh, to Slugma. Of course, you are then just setting up for this guy right here. Um, ideally, you do want to have that fire, fire, colorless, and not the double colorless, because then at least you can uh, crack on with his other move, and the ability as well is going to work very, very nice with the uh, the baby Macargo, which we got in Celestial Storm. So that's going to be very, very cool indeed. So moving on, we also get a Heatran Hollow. Love this artwork so much. This one looks very, very cool. Like it a lot. So for fire and double colors, we got lava burn for 60 damage. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So that's nice. You're doing a little bit of a snipe. Um, and then for two fire, two colors, we got heat bazooka. Wow, 150 damage. Discard the top five cards from your deck. Okay, okay. I mean, you know, if you can power it up, and Kiawe could power this up easy. You do the 150 with a choice band, that's 180, you are knocking out a Lele. So, I mean, that is pretty cool for just a basic, but that is the, the, the big thing here. Discard the top five cards from your deck. That is a little bit annoying. But if you discard a load of fire energy, well, that, that, there's no need to worry about that. And if you run Palpad and you discard some supporters, happy days, get them back, all good. So that could be pretty interesting. Um, we are getting a Victini. Love this artwork so much. This looks so cool. Again, it looks it looks like it's been hand drawn, but almost like a computer generated hand drawn image. It's really really cool. Love that so much. Falling from the sky almost. But a fire and colors for V beat. 
Interesting move. 20 times damage. This attack does 20 damage times the number of your basic Pokemon. So yours have to be basic. So if you play fire basics like Ho-Oh, that sort of thing, at least then it is a basic Pokemon and this thing could do 20 for all of your ba uh, your ba basic Pokemon. Now it doesn't actually say to not include this one. So can you include this one? This attack does 20 damage times the number of your basic Pokemon. So it would be this. I'm guessing it hasn't said anything. So if you've got that on the uh, five on the bench, this up front, it could do 120. If not, if this doesn't uh, account for, then it's just 100. But I mean, that's pretty cool just for a uh, fire and colorless. 100 damage is pretty nice. So moving on from that, we've got a Litleo right here. A very interesting one. Very, very cool indeed. So the ability Wild Dash. If your opponent has any... Pokemon GX or EX in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. I mean, who doesn't play a GX in their deck? Tapu Lele? Hello? So this thing will get free retreat, but is it worth it? Put a double colour, see if it take down 30 damage, attack does 10 damage to this Pokemon. That's kind of annoying. Uh, then that evolves into Pyro right here. Very interesting looking Pyro because this is the female version of Pyro. Very nice how they've uh, given us sort of two now. That's very cool. I like it. Uh, but for a double colour, we've got Crunch for 30 damage. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. That could be um, that could be a double colour. And it could just be a single basic. So, you know, it could be pretty nice. Uh, for a fire and double colour, we've got Heat Blast for 90 damage. Is it worth it? Probably not. Probably not. But hey-ho... We are getting a Lapras in this set. This this looks very cool. Again, it looks very much hand-drawn. Uh, I just love it. It looks so, so cool. And it has an ability. Is it any good, though? Ability, swimming. Once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and return them to the top of your deck in any order. You, uh, in any order. So, for example, you could pick it up and find that you've got maybe an Aqua Patch and a Cynthia. Just randomly. Which one do you want? Do you want the Aqua Patch? and magically attach water or do you want to completely shuffle your deck and could actually still get an aqua patch that could be pretty interesting a nice little thing maybe uh just one of them in your water deck just to sort of like go through your the top cards and be like oh, which one i do i want next turn <clears throat> could be interesting and then we've also got a water and colors for ice beam 50 damage flip a coin if heads your opponent's active poker is now paralyzed again paralyzed is very very nice we are then also getting a Suicune, which is going to be a hollow in the set. I would love to see this being the uh, pre-release promo. That would be amazing. The ability, Frozen Current. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, you may leave your opponent... Uh, sorry, you may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. So that could be pretty cool, bringing up something that they don't want. Uh, and that's always really, really nice. <clears throat> Especially when you could possibly finish it off for this. So, Water, Double Colorless for Aura Gain. 70 damage, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. So you're doing 70. Uh, I mean, if this thing was to be used in a pre-release, 70 you could possibly knock out a basic pretty easily. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. Um, then we have a uh, Cub Chew <clears throat> right here with a nice boogie hanging out of it, or an icicle if you want to call it that. But we have, uh, for one colour, follow-up chill. You can you uh, sorry, you can only use this attack on your first turn if you're going second. Your opponent's active poker is now paralysed. I can see this maybe being uh, in the uh, pre-release. Straight off. Because, because of this. This thing. If you go on your first turn... Uh, no, yeah. If you're on your first turn, if you're going second, you can use this and paralyse it. Which is pretty cool. And especially during pre-release, who has Guzma? Who has Guzma? Not many people. Uh, for a double colours, it does slap for 20, uh, yeah, 20 damage as well. So, I mean, eh, probably just that attack. The follow-up chill is the one you want before you evolve into Bear Tick right here. Very cool. like this guy a lot. Uh, we got a Water and Double Colours for Resolute Claws. 60, uh, yeah, 60 plus damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon GX or EX, this attack does 60 more damage. So you can do 120, basically, if you bring up a Tapu Lele or something. 
So that's interesting. Uh, and then for a water and triple colourless, so we've got Blizzard Burn for 150 damage. This Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. That's kind of annoying, but you can just switch that out. So there is that. We are getting a White Kiram, which looks as if it is going to be a Hollow. Uh, but we've got a double colourless for Field Crush, 30 damage. Discard your opponent's stadium in play. Discard your opponent's stadium in play. Doesn't that just mean discard the stadium in play? <laughs> maybe it doesn't. I don't know. If it's not, if, if it's your stadium, maybe you don't have to get rid of it. I don't know. Uh, but for water and a, sorry, two water and a colorless, so we got freezing flame. Twenty. Uh, well, that's not twenty. That is eighty plus damage. If this Pokemon has any fire energy attached to it, this attack does eighty more damage. So basically, you've got to go water, water, fire, and this thing can do one hundred and sixty damage. That is pretty nice. That is pretty cool indeed. Very nice. We are going to be getting another Poplio, a very basic looking Poplio, but I love those things in the background. They look like sweets or possibly um, like uh, things you'd find in the pool, like the inflatable things. I don't know, uh, but it looks cool. I like it. Uh, so Poplio, uh, Poplio, for one more, so we have Blot for 10 damage and you heal 10 from this Pokemon. Interesting. That then, of course, evolves into Brion right there, sort of... Uh, holding its eye open there in the in the water I think possibly uh, but for one water we've got captivate choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it with their active Pokemon and then for another one water we got water gun for 20 damage not really ideal and of course then we are going to get a pre marina like in this one probably more than the Sun and Moon one so that's uh, pretty cool it does look very very cool uh, the ability Harmonics. When you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon, you may attach up to two energy instead. Uh, ignore the effects if the energy is attached with an attack, an ability other than Harmonics or a trainer. Right, okay. So it has to be an energy from your hand. So if it was an energy from an Aqua Patch, that does not work. It has to be from your hand. But the fact that you can just go, oh, I've got two water. Thing. But also, it does say if you attach an energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So it could be a double colorless. It doesn't say basic. So it could be a double colorless and you attach a water. Mostly, water Pokemon will be able to get away with that. Now, of course, you will have to try and get this pre marina going, which means you'll have to probably run a rare candy through the deck to get this thing going. But it could be worth it. It could definitely be worth it to help. Uh, speed up the uh, the water decks a little bit. It could be very interesting. We do also get a Bruxish. Very, uh, very interesting uh, one here. Not many uh, cards that are uh, <laughs> that scary. But yeah, it's got some nice white teeth. That's pretty cool. So for one water, we have Mind Ben for 20 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And then for a water and colors, we have Track the Wounded. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon that already has any damage counters on it, so of course they do have to be on it. Um, if if maybe, for example, you use a Volcanium Prism Star and you get 20 on all of the bench and 100 on the active, happy days you've got, you know, complete... Oh, I don't go for any of them. So that's pretty nice. We are also getting an Electrobuzz, which likes climbing in the trees. So for Lightning and Colors, we've got Thundershock for 30 damage. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active poker is now paralyzed. That's nice, bit of paralyzation. That evolves into Electrovire. Very, very nice indeed. Like this artwork a lot. It looks really menacing. The electricity coming off it is insane. Uh, so for one colour, so we've got Electrocharge. 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 Search your deck for up to two Lightning Energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. And then for three Lightning and a colour, so we've got High Voltage Knuckle. 190 damage. Discard three energies from this Pokemon. So that could be pretty interesting. 190 damage is insane. Yes, it is pretty, you know, it's pretty up there with the cost, but there might be something coming out in this set, <coughs> Zero Aura, which helps reduce the amount of energy you need. So this could be pretty interesting. There's a few other cards which help you get energy. It's the attachments that uh, could be uh, a little bit annoying, but you never know. It could be a pretty interesting one indeed. 190 damage is a pretty saving grace. That's pretty cool. 
We are getting a Pachirisu, which has got this sort of clay. I love this. The clay in the actual real life artwork. It looks so cool. I love it. <clears throat> so for one, Lightning, we've got short, uh, over, over short. He is quite short. But 20 uh, plus damage. Uh, before doing damage, you may discard all Pokemon tools attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 40 more damage. And your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. That's pretty cool. So if they've got a choice band, you remove it. You do 60 instead and it's paralyzed. Uh, and for just one energy, that's pretty cool. A nice bit of disruption there because you are getting rid of that uh, the uh, item attached. So that could be pretty nice. We are going to be getting a Blitzel right here. Very simplistic, that background. No trees, just a, two bushes, possibly berries in there. Some grass and some land. And there's and there's Blitzel. Ta-da! Magic. Really cool. Uh, but for one Lightning, we got Bounce Around. 10 damage. And then for a Lightning and Colors, we got El Elekick uh, for 20 damage. Pretty nice. We are also getting a Zeb Striker right here. Pretty cool. Uh, so the ability, fast break. Once during your turn, you may discard your hand, then draw four cards. Okay, that's pretty cool. That actually could be a really good card. Wow, okay. That, that is definitely one to look out for. Um, the fact that you could possibly only have one card in hand and think, oh, well, I need more cards. Um, Seb Striker's ability, fast break, discard it, get another four. And those four could change your turn then. You could have been like, oh, I'll just pass turn. No, I'll draw four. Oh. I got some cards here, <clears throat> so that's going to be pretty nice. I think this could be a very interesting one. Uh, one lightning and a colors for head bolt, 60 damage. Probably not the thing you want to be f focusing on. It's very much that ability. This ability, I think, could be a very good one for Zeb Striker. We're getting a stun fisk right here. This looks weird. Uh, <laughs> one colors for flail, 10 times damage. This attack does 10 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. So basically, you can do 100 damage. Uh, before it get, before it gets knocked out, and then for one lightning we got thunder blast for fifty damage. Discard a lightning energy from this Pokemon. I don't know, it's pretty pathetic, guys. I'm sorry, but yeah, uh, we are getting a Tapu Coco as well, which will be a Hollow. I'd love to see Bulu and Co and Coco be in a theme deck. I think they'd be pretty cool. Get some get some coins as well. That'd be really cool as well. So for a double colors, we got Strafe for 30 damage. You may switch this Pokemon with one of your benched. And then for two Lightning and a colors, we got Flash Vault, 120 damage. This Pokemon can't use Flash Vault during your next turn. But I do like that artwork. It's very much up in your face. Not even looking at the actual... Uh, it's not looking out at the card. It's looking downright. But uh, it's pretty cool. There's their aura there, which we have gone through. We've got another Onyx right here. I love this so much. This is so cool because he's digging through the sort of undercrust of the earth. So this is why there's all these different colours and different levels. He's digging underground. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's oh, the Diglets. Oh, right. I'm, I'm so stupid. It's Diglet Tunnel. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really nice. That's pretty cool. There's Onyx anyway there. So for four colourless... Land Crush for 120. Yikes. And the Retreat cost is the exact same amount there. So, uh, yeah, it could be an interesting one. Which probably means we're going to get in Steelix as well. We are getting an Alolan Diglett. Uh, obviously for a free free attack. Call for Family. Search your deck for one basic Pokemon and put it in onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. And then for an Alolan Dog Trio. Again, it is a nice clay image in real life. Very, very cool. Uh, we've got, for a free attack, we've got Mole Rush for 60 damage. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So there is that. And then we, of course, do have Steelix right here. A very interesting one, sort of erupting from the earth, maybe. There's a few boulders and rocks there. Pretty cool. So for a Metal and a Double Colors, we've got Hammer in for 90 damage. And then for Metal and a Three Colors, we've got Iron Tackle for 170 damage. But it does 50 to itself, so you need something to sort of try and heal that slightly. Um, but it's, it's pretty nice, pretty cool. 170 damage, choice spend on there. Going against a GX, that's 200 damage. You're going to pretty much knock out a lot of things. A lot of things indeed. We are going to be getting a Dialga as well, which will be a hollow. Uh, so for one metal double colour, so we've got time down, 60 damage. Devolve your opponent's active evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card into their hand. Now that could be pretty cool because you bring up something 
Maybe, for example, a lichen rock, and you know that a rock ruff only has possibly 60 uh, health. So you do the 60 damage, it de-evolves, it gets knocked out. Now that is very annoying, because de-evolving is just s silly. And there was a similar card with Espeon EX, uh, which basically de-evolved everything. Everything on your opponent's side. So if you actually spread damage correctly, bang, you do that, you take a load of prizes and possibly knock out all of their Pokemon. Which can be very, very annoying indeed. So that could be a very cool one. Then we've also got for a double metal and a colorless power blast for 130 damage, discard one energy attached to this Pokemon. That's alright. We are getting a Durant right here. <clears throat> so what does this do? So for one colorless, knock over 20 damage, you may discard a stadium in play. That's interesting. And then for a double colorless, we've got Mountain Munch, discard two cards from your uh, from the top of your opponent's deck. Again, that's very interesting. It is a basic Pokemon with 80, but the fact that you can disrupt your opponent's deck and get rid of two cards, which in a way can be good, in a way can be bad, because putting stuff in a discard, they could get it back somehow. So it could be annoying, but it could pay off. That might be uh, an interesting little uh, thing to try and do. We are also getting a Kabalion right here. There it is right there. So for one metal and a colors, we've got guard press for 30 damage. This, uh, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. That's all right. And then for two metal and a colors, metal arms, 80 plus damage. If this Pokemon has a Pokemon tool attached to it, it does 40 more damage. So say you put a choice band on this thing, that would be doing 120, 150 damage for three energy attachment. That's that's all right. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool indeed. Pretty nice. We've also got there, as you can see, Genesect GX. We have gone over that. Very, very cool. Uh, we got Magina right here as well. <clears throat> there is Magina. So for one colors, we've got Mild Around Running. Whatever that means. Search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shuffle your deck. And then we also have a metal and colors for energy press 30 plus damage this attack does 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So it does 30 and then say they have a double colors and a base uh, basic energy, that's three, so it's doing 60 plus the 30, that's 90. That's not bad. It's definitely not bad. A lot of a lot of Pokemon have probably got about three energies on them. Any more and yeah, you could be in trouble with a bit of a Lele, but it could be interesting. There is Ditto Prism Star there, and we're getting a Kecleon. Now, this is interesting because this one is called Unit Color 1. Now, there's Unit Color 1, 2, and 3. Now, they are all basically all of the different unit energies which came out, so all of these guys can have the unit energy going on them to use their attacks, etc., so you can see that there, unit colour for the grass, fire and water unit energy. So there is that. And then for one colour, so we've got Tongue Slap for 10 plus damage. If your opponent's active Pokemon is an evolved Pokemon, this attack does 50 more damage. I guess it's alright, 60 damage for one, for one energy is pretty good. But it has to be evolved. It has to be evolved. But it's not bad. It's not bad indeed. So, uh, we're getting, I don't think we're going to be getting these, because uh, most of the stuff from Japan, they sort of get reprints, but we don't. So it's normally the new cards that we get. But they do have Energy Switch, we won't go over that. We've already seen Electric Power, but I will go over it uh, again. During this turn, your Lightning Pokemon uh, attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. It's not a tool card, it's just an item, but to do 30 more damage with Electric types is pretty nice. Uh, we're also getting this thing, it's called Custom Catcher. What does it do? You may play two Custom Catcher cards at once. If you play one, draw a card from your deck until you have three in your hand. If you play two cards, choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon and switch it with their active Pokemon. So it's almost like... Uh, it's almost like a... Uh, what's it called? Counter Catcher. This is a Custom Catcher. But with Counter Catcher, you have to be behind on uh, on prizes. Whereas this one, you can just switch it. So I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't think it could really be that like amazing. But who knows? Uh, we've got Super Scoop Up, Ultra Ball, Switch. We got Pokemon Catcher. Uh, we've got this thing here, Mix Herb, right here. A very interesting looking one. Very interesting. 
Uh, you may play two mixed herb uh, cards at once. Here we go. Uh, if you play one, remove one special condition from your active Pokemon. If you play two cards, remove all special conditions and 90 damage from your active Pokemon. Uh, again, it's interesting, but I really don't see... It's almost like playing uh, Puzzle of Time, which is banned. Uh, but... <laughs> But you have to have both of them, and this these aren't really like good benefits, so I, I can't see these things being really big, to, to be honest. Um, but there we go. Uh, we're getting this thing here called Counter Gain. Uh, so this can be attached to the Pokemon. As long as you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, the attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to cost one less. Now, Zera Aura with Lightning types. <clears throat> Minus is one of the attacks. So you attach counter gain, you use Zera Aura's ability, that is two, that is two energy off your attacks. Now, bearing in mind you have to be uh, behind on price cards and have Zera Aura on your bench somewhere or in the active, then you can do it. But that is pretty nice. So I don't know, counter gain could be an interesting one for maybe trying to get some free attacks because this thing could, uh, could work pretty nicely and it definitely. Uh, it definitely does help, so uh, there is that. Um, what else do we have? We've got to support this choice band, of course, whether that does get a reprint or not. I don't know. But we do have two supporters here. We've got this one right here, which is one of the uh, the Elite Four. Or, like, yeah, it is the Elite Four. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, she does all the stuff to do with flying types and everything. So draw two cards, then flip a coin. If heads, put this Kahili back into your hand instead of discarding it. So I guess that's pretty cool. You are getting some some draw there, and then possibly use it next turn to get some more draw power. Is it the best draw supporter? No, no. But it's interesting. It I just give it that. It's interesting. Um, right, and then we also have this one right here, Sightseer. Very interesting one. So draw cards from your deck until you have five cards in your hand. Before drawing, you may discard any number of cards from your hand. So this is pretty cool because you can discard cards that you don't want from your hand that might actually need to go into the discard pile and then draw five. Now, what this reminds me of, and bear with me here, but it reminds me of a worse Sycamore because with Sycamore, you discard your whole hand and then you draw seven. Whereas this one, you could discard your whole hand. You know, you could only have two, three cards left. You might even have six and you don't want them all. Put them in the discard pile, draw five fresh. Happy days. That's why I'm saying it's a worse Sycamore, for me anyway. From what I've seen of Sycamore, this just sort of reminds me slightly of it. Just slightly. But you're not forced to discard, it's just you may. So there is that. Um, there's a judge reprint in this set. There is good reason for that. We'll get to that. We've got the prism star there for Thunder Mountain. And there's also the double colors there and the unit energy grass water and fire one there, which obviously does hap um, does go with the Kecleon. But yeah, apart from all the cards, that is all of them. So uh, pretty interesting stuff indeed. So all we have to do now is check out what the full arts or full art trainers, should I say, and the secret rares are. So we're going to head over to that right now. Okay, so with all the cards now had a look at, at least, um, we can now have a look at what our secret rares and our full art trainers are before we finish the video. So our first gold card is, we are getting this, we're getting electric power. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I think out of the three that we've got, this is going to be the, be the better of all three. So this is going to be pretty cool. I, I like it. It looks really cool. I like that you've got that little um, electricity symbol in, in the middle of that little tube. The fact that like, the gold just works so well with it as well. So that's always really, really cool. Going to be a very interesting card indeed. But there is that. We're also getting this right here. Custom Catcher. Yeah, this is going to be a money card. Not. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're getting this. Am I happy? No, <laughs> but they got to pick something, so they picked this. Um, but no, I can't really see this thing getting a lot of play. I could be completely wrong. I could be absolutely mind blown. But there is that, so that's pretty nice. Um, we're also getting this one, Counter Game. 
which I think this would prob this this is going to be in an interesting one. It's going to be very deck orientated. If you're willing to go behind on prizes and make up for this with using a counter gain to sort of minus your attacks, then go for it. Why not? It could be a pretty interesting one. It looks interesting as well. I like how you've got that sort of uh, the two swishes. I, I don't really know what to call them, but like. Uh, Oh, the thing's going around the actual... Uh, it's almost like a watch, but it's going around the sort of bracelet-type thing. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like all the colours. It works well. Uh, the fact that it's a gold card, it just looks really nice. Really cool. So moving on from that, let's have a little look at our two full art trainers. So what could they be? Well, the first one is Kahili. We're getting a Kahili. I love this so much. Number one, she's got a golf club. Like, you do not want to mess with someone with a golf club. She is ready to tee off. I love the fact that you can see the feathers as well flying around in the background as well. But that looks absolutely amazing. A very, very interesting one. Uh, definitely one I will be looking for. Of course, I look for everything because I'm a flipping collector of all the cards. But it's really nice. Really, really cool indeed. And our second card, this might come as a surprise to you, it's not Sightseer, it's Judge. <laughs> We're getting full art Judge. Oh, I was so happy when I saw that we were getting a full art for this thing, because obviously Judge came out where, where did it come out? It came back in Ultra Prism, didn't it? Yeah. Ultra Prism Judge came back. No full art. No full art at all. I mean, if it came out in Ultra Prism, that would have been nine full art trainers. Whew. But we are getting this. I cannot wait. I really just cannot wait for this thing. It's going to be very, very cool. I love it. I just love the artwork. It looks amazing. It works very, very well. So there we go. Judge Full Art is the last card that we need to uh, have a little look at. So let's finish it off. We, of course, guess the GX, the answers. So our first... No, not our first... There is the picture that we uh, had a little look at yesterday. Uh, no, it wasn't yesterday. I, I, I skipped a day. I do apologise. So it would have been Monday. But there is the picture. And then, of course, it was Dialga GX, the dragon type, not the metal type. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. And then for the guest of GX for this episode, we have this picture. There it is again. And there it is even larger. Let me know in the comments below what you think that is, as well as giving me your thoughts on the items that we've discussed, or at least the trainer cards, and which Pokemon do you think are pretty good and up there as being a pretty good contender for this set. But like I said, let me know in the comments below. Apart from that, if you are new to the channel, then uh, definitely subscribe to the channel for more stuff. We're, we're reviewing everything before Dragon Majesty comes out, which we've done all of that. Uh, but before our actual Lost Thunder set comes out, which will be in November now. But that's going to fly by, so, you know, definitely stay tuned to the channel. But apart from that, I'll leave it here for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video on the channel.